Give me one second, guys. I'm trying to load up a video here. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm going to get this up. Let's see here. Got this. Hang tight with me. I'm trying to bring up a video of Trip and John that Greg did with, um, with Greg this weekend. So hold tight. Yep, I got. It. All right, here we go. Can you hear me, Jason? Yeah, I can, Greg. We're playing a video right now. Well, I can't hear the video. Is that? Um, hold on. What did I do wrong? I thought I queued it up. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't do it right. I'm supposed to share the video, Greg. Sorry about that. Hey, welcome, everybody. Greg and I are trying our first, um, where Greg went out and recorded a video with Trip and John. I'm trying to play back, like, just a little bit of it, and then we're going to bring Chip uh, – Trip and John on tonight with us here. Just give me a second. I thought I did it right, so maybe I did it wrong. So just hang tight with us. We're tractor pullers. We're not tech guys. So right, we need an IT department. Yeah, well, we're working on that, buddy. <laughs> can you hear that now? I can't. God, it should be playing. I thought. You know, I can hear the video on on my video and when I had well, it. That's good. Because that's what we want to do. Because we don't want people just to see us housing. Right. So we'll stop screen, present. Yeah, we're pretty good at this. That's all I'm going to say. So, right. Share screen, put the window up, Chrome tab. Entire screen. I thought I had their video queued up. Just hang tight with me, guys. This is the first time Greg and I've tried this. So, Man, what am I doing wrong? I was thinking that all day when I was trying to send you that long video. I'd let it sit on my couch for an hour. It just came through like three minutes ago, of course. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Because I'm trying to upload it right now into our thing. But that's fine. I'll get it figured out. So, yep. John, Cootsie and Tripp are going to come on and join us here in a second. So that's good. So if, worst case scenario, we have just them. So Right. And we're going to get this figured out. We're going to get better at this, I promise. I think I think we do it in 15-minute segments and just try and forward them or I just do it overnight. Yeah. Well, they're, they're just a big follow to upload, as you know. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Because I was too, I got it downloaded to my, to my Google Drive. And that's up right now. My hits back. I had a plan, I swear. Can anybody else see, could anybody else see the video of those guys? There's no sound of the video, but we can hear you guys. Can't hear you. Brian says no sound. Did you hit the share system audio button? I did, Mackenzie. I promise, with my whole life. Share system audio, but then it's not popping up anymore. I got two different Google Drives open, Greg. I think I'm messing up a little bit. So, okay, I'm gonna play the video. If you guys can't, let me know in the comments if you guys can hear this video. Okay, I think I did it right. If you can't, I need to know. So. 
Can you hear that, Greg? Can you hear him I talking? Cannot. I cannot. Can anybody else hear the video of Trip and John talking? Let us know in the comments. Well, no. we, damn it. We can hear the audio. Picture, but no sound. Well, when they get on here, we'll we'll just uh, talk with them. Yeah. <clears throat> I swear I'm doing it right, Greg. Yep. Really well. I'll bring Mackenzie and them along next time. They can just do it, and then ha you'll have it right there. But it should work this way. It should. Yep. Well, if I get the video soon enough, Craig, I'll upload it to YouTube, and then we'll just share a YouTube video over there. So Okay. And I don't have my three screens because I'm on vacation, so that's what happens. So. Yep. Yeah, maybe if I had my multiple screens, I could do it. So yeah, They can't hear it. Dang it. Nope. I feel bad, guys. I'm sorry, because I can hear it on my end. So, okay, I'll figure it out, Greg. This is we had to try it. Yep, yep, we did about it. So, so I'm gonna play our welcome video. Hang tight with us. Let us know if he can hear the noise, and then Greg and I are gonna start talking, and then John Coots and Trip Downing are gonna join us. So just yep. hang tight for a second. Good to see you, Elsing. Yep, you too. Hey, Badger State Truck and Tractor Pulling fans. Jason Schultz here, Greg Gelsing, the president of the Badger State Tractor Pullers. John normally joins us. He's going to be coming on a little bit late tonight. So uh, Greg and John really want to do these shop tours for you guys. And he has a bunch of great video. And we tried uploading them. And like one of them came through like two minutes ago, of course. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to get those uploaded to YouTube to play them out. Because the files are so big, I tried to upload them and play them through our Google Drive. But it just isn't working. So we're working through this, but John or uh, Greg and John spent a lot of time. John Coots, Trip Downing, Lemkes, where have you all been? Greg, yeah. uh, we were at Wildman's shop, and we did uh, we did the uh, we recorded one for the uh, Die Hard Deer, and we did one for the Claws. Okay, uh, cool. Pounds or whatever it's called, uh, I think that's what it's called, and and it was a it was a good video. You got some of it going up here now, right? Well, that's no, that's the boys. That's John and Tripper live right now, sitting in the oh, shop. Oh, they are okay. They yep. get in front of that. Yep, that's where we were yesterday. I love it. I love it. So, how many, Greg? How many Badger State pullers do you know have been invited to Louisville so far? Ah, uh, there's seven pro stocks. I got a, you know, Wildman's shop in that area. Craig Ladwig, myself, uh, Wildman's, Lemke's, the class, and the, you know, new generation, uh, Blaine Stam. Brian Coates, uh, I think Jason Round. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, that is super cool. Yep. I can't blame, you know, didn't blame. Yeah. I think almost all of them that everybody applied got in. Well, I'm sure Gallant's from the 4 1 class got in. I applied. I did not get in. The remedy yep. is going to stay home. We're just going to go down there and have fun. It's a good time. So I don't yep. know. Trip, did you apply for the big show in Louisville? I did not know. You did not. Cootsie, did you apply? I did. What did they say? 
Not this year. Not this year. I got that same letter. So <laughs> I'm currently in, I'm in Florida right now, and I would show my letter because if I'm going to do a video when I get home, if everybody's showing their video of getting accepted, and I'm going to be like, hey, I didn't win a tractor pull this year, so I didn't get into Louisville, so it's okay. So <laughs> but no, I'm super excited. Trip, John, thank you for taking time with Greg and John yesterday. Um, Greg tried to upload the videos all day to my Google Drive, and I just got them like two minutes ago. And it was, I got some of the shorter videos that you guys did, but the longer videos that you did, I wasn't able to do that. So I'm going to have Mackenzie and Chandler from my team work on that this week, guys. To, you know, we'll, we'll have this up on YouTube and we'll ha have it up on the Badger State Facebook page. But thank you for joining us live tonight. So these shop tours trip and uh, John, this is kind of what we're doing. This is Greg's vision of the Badger State Director Pullers to really show behind the scenes with the fans and the sponsors you know, and the pullers, of course, of the Badger State Tractor Pullers. So, and Trip, we take a lot of credit for naming your tractor homegrown because we kind of named your tractor on our show, if I remember correctly, buddy. So, we talked about that yesterday. Yeah, we had named that deer. And Paul Romack, one of the editors on our Facebook page, he, he came up with that because it's fun to kind of name that stuff. So, Greg, like, why did you name it the T8 Tomcat, Greg? You're pro stock. I didn't have to name it, Dirk Drury did. But we don't like Dirk Drury, so let's not mention his name. Right. Yeah, he he did, he came up with it. So, you know, you know, they, everybody just bounces stuff off of each other, and you came up with something. Yep. No, that's good. That's good. Thunder Clutch. I can tell you, Thunder Clutch name is 20, 30 years ago. I was sitting in the uh, kitchen eating a bowl of cereal, and uh, I was watching uh, McDucktail, Ducktails, or something. I had the Thunder Clutch Whirly Gang, so that's how I named it. I love it. <laughs> Cootsie, how'd you name your tractor the Digging Deer? Oh, actually, I think it was part of my my dad came up with it. So with the tiling business and stuff, just being digging, digging yep. the stuff. So. No, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So welcome everybody. It's December twelfth. Every Monday night at seven p.m. Central Standard Time, we do Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Your host Greg Elsie and the president of the Badger State Tractor Pullers, and John Stranley, one of the voices of the Badger State Tractor Pullers. And uh, we get on here every Monday night. We talk. We talk Badger State Truck and Tractor Pulling live with our members. Um, Greg is really focused on the points champions the last eight weeks. We had the banquet uh, two weeks ago now, and now we're kind of heading into the winter, the off season, if you will. There really is no off season in pulling because you're you're you know you're tearing stuff down, rebuilding stuff so you can get ready. There's a lot of indoor pulling coming up. Uh, Ship Shawana, the Midwest Winter Nationals, is a big event where many many Badger State Truck and Tractor Pullers go. Clint Tucker has been the promoter of that. Many of you know it as Gordyville, and the Gordyville has kind of faded into the sunset. Uh, the facility in Shipshawana, the Mech Center, is a million times better. It's a longer track. It's not so dusty. But I will tell you that I've seen many, many Badger State truck and tractor pullers have a lot, a lot of success at the year at the Midwest Winter Nationals. Then we kind of roll into the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, which is, I think, February. It's always right around Valentine's Day. I think the exact dates are like February 12th through the 14th this year. But I, I might be guessing a little bit, but I know I'm pretty close. So those are kind of the big things that lead off. And then we have a couple of months off before we head into the Badger State season, typically starting with Leaf River, Illinois. I don't know if Greg has polls scheduled before that, but it typically kicks off with the uh, the FFA alumni down there. I know um, what, uh, Rod Werda, one of our yep. limited super stock pullers, is a big promoter of that event down there. So, but excited to have Trip on here. Cootsie's been around a long time. Cootsie's a celebrated champion, super farm, limited pro, one of the best around. Tripp and the boys there with Homegrown have really got into the super farm class the last couple of years, and we bragged them all up there a couple of years ago, and I felt so bad. Trip down there at Shipshawana, and then that, was it the transmission or was it the rear end that let loose Trip down there? It was the transmission. Yeah. And it happens. that It, it all happens. Because I'm rebuilding my rear end and my transmission this winter. Well, I'm not, but I'm spending the money, and Tony's taking care of a trip, so... <laughs> I've been there, done that, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's all good. So, welcome, guys. If anybody has any questions for Trip or Cootsie, please type them in the comments or Greg as well. And, like I said, Greg spent a lot of time. Uh, they spent, they have, we have a good 90 minutes of video of Trip and John at the shop, but currently are sitting there in the shop. In the shop. Uh, Trip's tractor is currently behind him, Cootsie's tractor is behind him. Cootsie, I want to know. How did you get into the sport of truck and tractor pulling and what year did it kind of happen? Talk about those early years in Badger State and when you got involved. Uh, I guess starting out, actually, we pulled a farm tractor back, I think, starting like 95, 96, something like that. And then uh, a neighbor of mine 
and me, we started uh, building this thing my senior year in high school. So, and it come out in 2000 as a super farm. So the first tractor. <clears throat> And uh, it was a super farm up until the end of 2013. So. so so from 2000 to 2013, John, and I know you're humble and I think that's cute, but you had a lot, a lot of success on the Badger State level and the Champions Tour level with, you know, with Lucas Oil. Kind of take us through some of those years and maybe some of your highlights. Um, yeah, like I say, I did really well. I had a lot of people that kind of helped me, you know, uh, if it wasn't for like Larry Rolfe and Don Slama. You know, I mean, Don Slama took me along on the tour, you know. Yep. That was a pretty cool experience for a young guy. You know, I mean, it's something I couldn't have done on myself. So, but uh, I mean, highlights wise, um, as Greg, we were talking in the videos yesterday, um, I won Henry, I think the two year Super Farm was there, like in 05 and 06. Yep. I won a row. And I think, I know at least one year I was first took and had to wait out like 30 years. So, <laughs> that's hard. That's hard on your heart, Cootsie. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where he got the nickname Hollywood Cooch, too. Yeah. He, oh. in, in TV interviews and stuff like that. So we, we called him Hollywood. He has big sunglasses on, and he looked like a stud. No, but seriously, for those of you that know John Coots, he is seriously the one of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. But he has done very, very well. Very, very well in the sport of truck and tractor pulling. And he always had those sunglasses on. I don't know. Who, who actually came up with Hollywood Cootsie? Do you know? Oh, it was, I want to say it was Greg Elsing and a couple of, (laughs) (laughs) it it was a televised or a big money, you know, purse that I could do really well there. So that's kind of how how I got named that. No, that's good. Yep. There's TV and money involved. Cooch was there and winning. (laughs) Dude, that's, I, uh, Cootsie, I need, I need to rub you or something. I need some of that luck. So it's all good. So I hear that from another guy. (laughs) Again, guys, it's Monday, December 12th. It's uh, down and dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Our special guest center, Trip Downing, John Coot, sitting in front of you right now, sitting in front of their respective pulling tractors. Trip Campaign's a brand new super farm. Is it two years now? Is this year number three, Trip? Yeah, this is going on three, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So, um, And then Cootsie, of course, uh, you know, was a very, very successful in super farm and has also been very, very successful in a limited pro stock class, uh, winning championships in both, going to Louisville, uh, you know, having a really good time. And that's what's kind of funny because sometimes we all get together with our 30 friends from the Badger Street Tractor Pullers and we tell about all the stories, talk about all the nicknames, but we got, oh, probably 15,000 people that will see this video in the next 24 hours or so. So it's kind of funny to catch up with everybody. Like, why do they call you Hollywood? And that's what Elsine's there for. So yeah. he, has a nick- he has a nickname for all of us, John. So don't feel bad. So right. it's all good. Um, John had best on pro stocks this year too, driving a couple of them too. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Which uh, which pro stock did you get to drive this year, Cootsie? Uh, so I got to jo- drive John Lynx twice. And, and I, you won, right? And then uh, I got to drive the new Kloss. So. Oh. Robbie Lump, you let me have the privilege of driving it out in Canton, Ohio. So, Cootsie, the first time I drove my 4-1 was in Darlington in 2015. And I had a hot farm before. And, you know, we'd normally let go of the, the throttle at a certain RPMs. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, there's another 1,000 RPMs. I wish I could have had a GoPro inside of my helmet, Cootsie, because I think the smile on my face when I realized there was a lot more RPMs there. What's it? I mean, how many people have driven a pro stock in their life? A couple hundred people? I mean, this is like a legitimate fair question, Greg. Right. Well, I, I think, you know, the pro stocks, what they are today, yeah. are a whole lot, I mean, compared to what they were 10 years ago, I mean, that's a, there's a big difference. Was well, I don't even know, like, if a 401 today, because we're making 2,500 plus, Yep. Was, what was it, you know, is that, the, is that the pro stock of 15 years ago, 10 years ago, or even 20 years ago, Greg? When I was, uh, when I first started in Badger State, I think pro stocks were, they were talking about 1,200 horse. <laughs> That's yeah. insane. So now, you know, they went trip, to 50. You, you have a pro stock, buddy, about 20 years ago. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. I, like yep. say, I was at Kevin Engelking's once getting ready to go to Louisville, and we needed an extra half day. And actually, I split it with Gary Bergman. And uh, Gary ran first, and uh, we showed up, and Gary needed a pass or so, yeah. And uh, we got to stand in the back room at Kevin Engelking's and listen to that thing run, and it kind of made it, you know, you just cringed, you know. And I would say, you know, that's almost to where we were, where we are today. Yeah. That had to be, 
I want to say 07, 08, maybe, 09. Okay. No, that was like in the five inch charger days, you know? So, yep. not to name numbers, but, you know, we kind of, he knew what I ran that day and I knew what. He <laughs> no, but it's fun. But it's fun, John, because there's a lot of people watching tonight and a lot of pullers that have been around a long way. And, you know, you and I don't, we know what we are. Super farms know what they are, and we all look up to the pro stock guys. Let's be real. I mean, it's no, it's no big deal, and that's that's just how it goes. But it's kind of fun to talk about that because pulling really is. I mean, the unlimited pro stock class, and, and I know the five low class is coming onto the scene now. You know, I get a lot of questions like, "Hey, what did Badger State do?" And I'm like, "Well, actually, honestly, Badger State's one of the toughest last year and this coming year. I feel like one of the toughest pro stock classes in the nation." You know, when you had Jason's tractors in, Jason Round from Farley, Iowa, and all the tractors that have stepped up. And I really feel like the Badger State Pro Stocks, I mean, it's been a, you know, Coatsy ran away with it two years ago, but it was a dog fight for Blaine, you know, to pull it off this year. And now you got Robbie Lemke hanging around and Esden, you know what I mean? And, and Link coming in like you have and Round and Greg has really stepped his motor program and Blaine's come around and Brink Myers. I mean, these are big names in the sport of Pro Stock truck and tractor pulling. And I don't need to I don't mean to make light on any other class, but at the end of the day, we all go to the pole to watch pro stocks. And, and that's what's super cool. And that's what makes it fun. And the fact, Cootsie, that you got to drive a couple different ones. What, I mean, what's it like sitting on a pro stock, Cootsie? It's pretty violent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, oh, it's awesome. Great. Well, you know, it's similar, you know, speed wise and everything. I mean, the sleds all make us run about the same miles per hour. You know, or speed, you know, but it's just a little more violent, a lot yeah. more. A lot more. So, hey, real quick question from somebody watching on YouTube right now John or Trip, what would be the best green tractor to start pulling in a farm stock class for a 60 year old beginner? <laughs> oh, just what, whatever your wallet's going to allow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's, but thank you for saying it like that is, John and Trip. That's how it goes. So, CC, if you give me some more details, maybe where you live, cubic inch, and maybe your pocketbook, we can answer that question a little bit better. Craig Ladwig is joining us tonight. Um, I remember sitting at the table with John and his dad talking about the boxes of parts he bought from Dave Sonatag 20 years ago. Kootsie, go ahead, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 22 years ago that happened. That was the barnyard beast then, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, it was when he converted from diesel to super, or to alcohol, I should say. So, so he bought Doug. He bought Doug Roberts tractor back in the day. Okay. Can he converted it from diesel to alky? Uh, I think it was the tractor before that. Actually, okay. He ended up with Doug Roberts, I think, after that. Okay. Cootsie, what's your dog's name? Kempton. Can we see Kempton? Sure. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, Trip Downing, welcome to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Sorry, I'm in love with Cootsie a little bit, so you have to understand that, Trip. Um, <laughs> before we get into your how you got into Badger State, can you kind of tell us who you are, where you're from? Did you get married yet? I did, yeah. Okay, so tell us about all that. Kind of catch us up to where we are today, and then we're going to start getting into the tractor pulling stuff. Just give us the, back, the background. Uh, so I grew up in Clinton, Wisconsin, just down by Janesville. When I was in high school, Josh Francine and Paul Ludi, who <clears throat> helped build the tractor and drive it, and um, they at that time they had an altered farm tractor pulled the South Central two six eight pound class. <coughs> they, I was fortunate enough that they let me, you know, hang around the shop, help them wrench on it, and whatever, and then they got to drive it once in a while. And, um, <coughs> Then as that class progressed and some rule changes happened and, um, you know, we were still running a stock quad range transmission at the time and just couldn't hold up. And so we just, at the time, Josh started having kids and um, Paul had stuff going on and there's, and I was in college, so none of us really had money to keep the tractor going. And um, so we kind of just let it sit for a while and started collecting parts. I think it was seven or eight years that we, that we didn't track the pole and uh, started collecting some parts. And I got to know John through work and talking to him one day and he was <laughs> going a different direction with, with his motor set up and had a short block for sale. And, and uh, that got my wheels turning and, and uh, 
Uh, so we ended up getting the motor that's in my tractor is John's old short block, and so I bought that from him, and we started building on ours. And, um, we uh, we finally set a goal. We we wanted to go to we wanted to go to ship Shawana, and uh, so we we were able to. We were down to the last few few days, but we we got it down to ship Shawana that first year, and then 2020 was the first year down there. No, it's a, it's a great event. If if you don't know what Trip is talking about, this coming year, January 12th to 14th, um, Clinton Tucker puts on an amazing pull for Super Farms, Limited Pros, Hot Farms, Pro Farms, and Mini Rods um, at the Mech Center in Chipshawana, Indiana. Six sessions, January 12th to 14th, and it's kind of our, it's kind of the Louisville for the guys who don't get to have a Louisville. I know the Super Farms and Limited Pros can get into Louisville, uh, but there's not as many sessions, and it's a great event. Clinton will leg legitimately take every class in the United States of America and Canada and kind of merge them into one. And as an announcer, it's a hell of a time, guys, trying to say, well, this guy gets to weigh 8,500 pounds and this guy gets to weigh 9,300 pounds. But it's a great time for everybody to get together and be that. And Tripp knows and, and Kutsi knows he's done well there in the past. And I know Greg's going down with their 4-1 this year. The boys are taking it down. It's a great time to get together for everybody. Um, you know, we're all burnt out at the end of the polling season. Let's be real. But by the time the banquet rolls around, we're ready to go pulling again. And uh, there's a little snow on the ground, but we want to go blow some smoke. So it makes it a lot of fun. It makes it a lot, a lot of fun. So, again, if you're just joining us, um, it's December 12th, and the, and the viewers keep going up. Trip Downing, Super Farm puller, uh, Tractor Puller with the Badger State Tractor Pullers called Homegrown. John Cootsey, um, been around Badger State a long time, done very, very well. Champions Tour, we don't really need to introduce Cootsey. But if you have any questions, please type it in the comments and Greg and John did some shop tours with them this past weekend. And I was unable, unable to load up some of the videos just because they're so big, but my team is going to work on putting that all together to do that. So we're just having a good chat tonight and sitting in front of about 4,000 horsepower sitting there in Cootsie's shop. And uh, where, Cootsie, where are you at again? Uh, Port Atkinson. Port Atkinson, Wisconsin. So that's a great think, place to be. I so. think Tripp should tell a little bit about his mint cooker because that's interesting. You know, we all grow corn and soybeans and stuff like that. Uh, you know, let everybody know that Tripp, you know, you said you, great, you raise mint, you know, and, and how many acres you do. And uh, it's a big mint farm as far as, you know, as far as mint farm goes, it, it is, I think. You know, and you said you had one of the larger mint cookers in the country. You want, you want to tell us a little bit about that, Tripp? Yeah, so I, when I was in high school, I needed a job and I uh, knew it was a couple miles away from my parents' house that the, the, the mint distillery was there. So I walked in there one day and Tom Anfang owned it and asked him if uh, asked him if he needed any work or needed any help. And he said, well, if you got a pulse, he goes, I got something for you to drive. And uh, I started working for him when I was 16 years old and uh, worked through him <clears throat> through, uh, through high school, through college, and then ended up going full time after college and I, I was fortunate enough he gave me the opportunity to me and a, a buddy of mine we, we were able to purchase the still um, down there in Janesville three years ago and adults here today um, we grow about 900 acres of peppermint at the current moment um, it's yeah it's one of the, the still itself we can cook 23 loads at a time it's one of the, the largest mint stills in the United States um, and 900 acres of mint so uh, there's not many people that grow that much. So. Trip, trip. Who? I mean, who who buys that much mint from you? Because I'm kind of naive when it comes to this stuff. So all of our stuff. So we we actually distill it down and sell the, the oil, um, and that's what goes for any flavoring. So most of our stuff goes to Colgate and Wrigley's for toothpaste and gum. So when I have a piece of gum or brush my teeth, I can take a trip downing for the rest of my life. As long as as long as you're uh, using Colgate. <laughs> And peppermint, right? Yep. Yep. Is it peppermint and like spearmint is different? Is it a different plant than peppermint? Or how does that work? <laughs> Where we used to grow spearmint, uh, we probably haven't had it in seven or eight years. It doesn't overwinter very well here. Um, we never had luck with it overwintering. So it's more spearmint's more, um, they grow up in Canada and out in the far west. Um, so, uh, there's only a handful of us left here in the Midwest that actually grow mint. There's two or three of us left in here in the state of Wisconsin. Um, 10, 15 guys in Indiana, um, a couple um, but the rest of it's all growing out in uh, Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, um, out 
that way. So, That's right. awesome. Trip. Yep. Hey, Trip, let's switch gears. Let's go back into truck and tractor pulling. I know what it's like to live in Wisconsin and to watch the Badger State tractor pullers and to pull in an association that's not Badger State someday hoping I can have a Badger State tractor or a truck. Yep. What does that mean to you? I mean, like, take a second. What's it like to have a super farm pulling in Badger State? I, it's, it's pretty incredible, really, to even have the opportunity to do it. I, if you would ask me 10 years ago when I got out of college, if I would, that I'd be tractor pulling in Badger State, I probably would have laughed at it and said, there's no chance I'd ever have that opportunity. Right. Um, no, because I, you guys, I mean, I mean, I do a lot of stuff all over now and uh, the Badger State. Everybody comes back to, oh, wow, you, you know, you used to be, you know, you pulled Badger State or whatever. I'm like, it's, you know, and I can say this and I still get crap about it today when I say it. It's the best uh, state sanctioned organization anywhere uh, from Greg's leadership and Dirk and the tech and everybody like that to be part of something like that, to have the quality of vehicles. And, and when I say the best, I, I mean it because when our competitors trip in Cootsie, when you guys go to Louisville, when you go to Ship, and when you go to Kansas City and the Cowtown Showdown, I always see the you know some of the Badger State tractors. You're not 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 necessarily winning every pull, but to be part of that and like to be part of that in the state of Wisconsin and Northern Illinois, you know, and Eastern Iowa because that's kind of what it encompasses now. Um, and I've been you know lucky enough to be part of the board with Greg for a couple of years, and I don't ever want to be on a board ever again. I do not ever <laughs> want Austin's job because it is the and Kutsi knows it is the single most stressful thing I've ever, I've learned more about people guys than I ever want to tell you. I mean, um, you can't buy me enough alcohol for me to tell you the stories I've heard from people behind the scenes, but, um, I mean, be, <laughs> well, we've we, tried, Greg and I've tried to, to drink it all. We have, but trip to be part of something like that. And John's been around for a long time. You guys, you know, like Kutsi, you've been around a long time. Does it kind of get like, ah, oh, just another day at Badger state and you're a new guy. I mean, it's hard to like it's hard to sell the aroma, and I'm trying to be serious about this, guys. What it's like to be part of a, a state association that really doesn't need a national association. And I'm not making fun of anybody when I say something like this, but Kutsi, you know what I'm trying to say. John, you pulled you pulled champions tour, you've been around. Toma's special because it's Toma. But what's that like, guys, to be part of the Badger State Tractor Pullers? It's a big deal. It is, you know, the, the cool factor is, you know, you go somewhere else and it's, I haven't been to one yet that's ran better. You know, there's some that are ran almost as good, you know, as far as events, but, you know, as far as an organization that's well organized, you know, there's all your, your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, you know, I mean, it's, we got to thank guys like Greg and Dirk, you know, I mean, all our tech guys, you know, the ladies in the trailer, you know, I mean, they do such a fantastic job, you know, you know we show up and, Everything's taken care of for us, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's number one thing, you know. I mean, <laughs> that, you know, I mean, Badger State, you know, just in the general area, you know, our builders, our engine builders, you know, guys like that are top notch, you know. I mean, Dino Services, you know, I mean, Kevin Anglican, he's been around forever, you know. I mean, you know, you we we're only as good as our competition, you know. The, as far as competition in our organization, it's it's some of the best, you know. <laughs> You know, all them guys too. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's tough. Any any night, any guy can run away with any class. You can't. We I asked a question. Uh, them guys like John. I said, when you show up at night, which guy do you really fear the most? He says, I fear them all. I mean, they can all do it, right. I mean, it's there ain't you know like I say in limited pro there there ain't any of them that are I wouldn't say way better than any of the other ones, but there's no slouches either. You know, everybody's got a fair shake at it. Yeah, and that class is only growing, John. Right. <laughs> it's only growing. So well, look at look at Jason. How many you know in, in Super Farm? How many guys in Badger State run the national level? I mean, you. Well, have I think you know. And Trip, I was thank you for leading into this. That was my next segue, and that's kind of what I was leading into. I would say, if I could do the math, twelve out of the fourteen Super uh, Super Farm Grand National, or excuse me, Lucas Oil uh, Pro Pulling League points champions are from the Badger State. I think there's only been two years. Or it hasn't been a tractor from the Badger State. Yeah. Right? I would guess three or four. I would guess three or four. Mag Darnell did it a couple times. And then the last couple of years, somebody. Uh, uh, well, Josh Miley's won it. Josh, Justin Wagler. I think yeah. Mag one or two. But it's been 17 years, you right. know, 
and to only have four or five other guys win it, that's a big deal. Yeah. Well, like when you listen to Dan Mayer, or, uh, you know, or who are all the announcers at Louisville, Dave Bennett, and those guys like that, but Dan really understands the PPL side of it more than anybody else. He'll say, this is your Badger State points champion. And that's what really what, you know, kind of getting my start in Badger State, just starting announcing with you guys and then becoming a puller with you guys. I've seen it grow and I understand the importance of it. And I know how tough it is to compete, you know, in, in that Badger State level on, you know, on a weekend and a week out. So speaking of a big deal, John Link says, is this for John or is this for uh, Trip? Is a good life coach important? <laughs> Look at Cootsie's smile. <laughs> So I love that. You're like, <laughs> is that important? A good life coach, uh, Kutsi? Oh yeah, oh yeah, most of the time. <laughs> where where do you find a good life coach? <laughs> what was that? Where where would you find a good life coach? Oh well, Mister Link's at the top there. He's a pretty good. Man. <laughs> and I will I will contest that Mister Link likes good good whiskey and bourbon because I've yeah. drank with him in Texas before. So I'm very very impressed with his ability. So. Yep. Yep. It's all good. I, I want to know how his Sunday went after the banquet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better question, Greg. <laughs> yep. Right. Uh, Patrick Hack, big congratulations to Trip for winning the Dan Harris Award this year at BSTP. Um, that's honestly one of the most like legit awards you can win, Trip. I mean, because it's voted on by the pullers. Just all the other awards, all the other awards trip, Elsing, he just does whatever he wants. But this is one that's truly voted on by the Polar's trip. <laughs> I had to do that. It's an inside joke, but don't worry about that trip. So, Yeah, they had me speechless because I, I mean, only two years into the club, I, it didn't even dawn on me that that would happen. So I, I walked up there and looked like a fool in front of everybody because I didn't have two words to say. So. <laughs> All you had to do is say, "I'll bid fifteen thousand dollars on the buck on the buck tickets to outwin Robbie Lemke." That's all I'm going <laughs> to. One barrel of mint. <laughs> yep. I, I had the honor of hanging out with Mr. Lemke last Thursday night in uh, Indianapolis, and we had a good time. That's all I'm going to say. A good time. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, that was a uh, Robbie and those Troy and. Um, Luca from the Netherlands and Mr. Wildman. We had a very, 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 very good time. I was honored to be with them. So it was awesome. So yeah, good times were had. So again, welcome to uh, Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. We're about 30 minutes into our show right now. We have a trip downing, homegrown super farm, uh, winner of your super farm puller of the year and or driver of the year for the Badger State Tractor Pullers. And John Coots, just, and John, I'm not trying to kiss your ass. You know this, you're my friend, but just one of the toughest there is out there, super farm, 4-1, pro stock, whatever John drives. John's a hell of a driver, and that's what he does. He does it very, very well. And he's influenced many, many people in Badger State truck and tractor pullers, including Trip sitting next to him. So, John, what's it kind of like, you know, growing up in the sport and being around it a long time and kind of seeing it develop as you have, let's say, the last 20, 25 years with your dad and stuff like that? Like, think, can you think back to 20 years ago? Think back to 2002. I mean, you were pulling a super farm and just kind of tell us about that story a little bit. Tell us the story about it. First night I really met you, John. <laughs> yeah. You tell it better than I do. I don't know. You can start with you. And I'll, I'll, I'll add to it once. <laughs> <laughs> He's an embellisher, Kusi. <laughs> well, I mean, back in them days, you know, everybody had goosenecks, open trailers, you know, I mean, you know, they weren't those tractors we had today, you know, I mean, it's, you know, and like I say, back then I was, you know, just a young kid, you know, and, Hadn't been around it really much, you know, like I say, everybody welcomed you and, you know, kind of helped you out, you know, and kind of led you down the right path, you know. I mean, yeah, Larry, I, Larry Wolf was with you right away, right? You said. Right. Hey, I worked with, you know, rode with Larry Wolf and stuff a lot, you know, and like I say, we went, you know, farther away, we'd go up and kind of go together places, go to places together. And, you know, I mean, Larry was one of them good guys that would do anything for you and, you know. Just like I say, he kind of took you under his wing, and you know, I mean, and it's like I say, there was a bunch of them guys. You know, I've been with Lemke since day one. You know, I mean, there are another bunch of guys that'll do anything for you. You know, and like I say, it was kind of surreal. You know, and then like I say, I met Don Slama the one day at I think Utica Fest. You know, and he was looking to build a tractor. And I don't know, he needed a turbo or something, and I said, whatever, I'll take mine off and run it up to you to build some piping or something. You know, and that's kind of how I met him. And, you know, and then he ran a year or so, and you know, and then he wanted to run the tour, and like I 
like I said, we just kind of ended up riding together. And like I say, I wouldn't have done it without him, you know. So, you know, but it, it's like I say, you know, I mean, Super Parman, all the Badger State class have been that, that since day one is, you know, it doesn't matter which night. There's very seldom one guy will take and run, run away with it the whole year. Well, back in those days, too, Super Farm carried Badger State. Oh, it did. Yeah. You know, right now we're kind of known for the pro stocks, but, I mean, then we were known for Super Farm, and it, it will change again, right. you know. It does all the time. Mm -hmm. For a while, we were limited, limited pro was the what mm -hmm. the one for, and it changed. But Super Farm is the class that kept Badger State alive in the 90s and, and early 2000s. I can tell you that. Well, Greg, it's still, I mean, nationwide, it's still known for that. The, the best Super Farms in the in the country come out of the Badger State. And I'm not and, and why and Miley's a badass super farm with high maintenance. I'm not picking that, but night after night after night, if you had to pick a winner and you had to bet, you know, I'm putting money down. You know, if you could bet on an association, you're gonna pick Badger State in the super farm class. That's just kind of how it's it's how it's how always been. And well, until somebody steps up and runs them off, that's how it's gonna be. So yep. look at Nick score for how many years, John? Oh, okay. Yeah. He right. dominated years. He Are you there? How many championships has Nick score won? I don't know. Three or four, I would think. All, all of them. He's yeah. won all of them. He's for sure, for sure three, I think. You know, he's not playing in Badger State, you know. Oh, yeah. A lot, way more than I know. Hey, Trip, growing up, you know, just kind of following the Badger State tractor pullers and then now getting to, get, to be part of it. What are some of your, like, if I could say to you, Trip Downing, give me your five favorite places to go, where would you say? Because I don't like to say favorite because then, you know, then somebody gets pissed off because you don't say their name. But if I could pick five tracks, Trip, where do, like, what do you most look to, forward to every year? Or, like, I want to make sure that you, you, not that we don't try any harder because there's no, I'm going to turn the fuel up tonight because there's none of that stuff anymore. We got our, you know, we got the wick lit every night, if you will. But where some of the Trip places, like, wow, I won X or I got second and X. You know, where where are some of those places in Trip Downing's mind? Um, I'd say probably number one for me. Uh, since I was a little kid, my dad had always we always went to the the Badger State Track Pull at Jefferson County Fair, and so for me that was that was the one when we built the Super Farm. That was the one pull that I I was probably the most excited to go pulling at the Jefferson County Fair. And the first year we had the tractor out, that was the only pull that got rained out all summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this last year was the first time that I ever got to pull at Jefferson County Fair. And I, I was, How did it go for you? We ended up second. So okay. we were, we were Who first. Beat you? Who beat you? What's that? Who got you there? Uh, Jelly, Mike Jelly. Did. Okay, so we're going to tech him at uh, the first pull of the year trip. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dirk is watching, so Dirk, I want you to text Jelly's tractor. So yeah. the son of a hitch, tech it. So it was, it was when we uh, we were first tractor of the night that night, and uh, I turned it down and came back last. And um, Jelly had stuck it out there quite a ways, and nobody was able to touch it. The tractors were backed up, probably five six feet short of him. And uh, I came back last, and I I just about got him, but it it was enough. It was noticeable enough the crowd went. I, the crowd went nuts, and I, when I when the tractor came to a stop, I could hear the crowd through my helmet, and that was that was pretty cool. That's the best. Yep. That's the best trip. That's the best. <clears throat> and that's what fans don't realize: the distance between your guys' two tractors right now is usually like the top five or six spots in truck and tractor pulling. You know, in like three feet, it sounds like a lot to us pullers, but when you really think about what three feet really is, how close and competitive all of us are night in and night out, and it's. You know, to lose a tractor pull by three feet and still finish in seventh place, you're like, wow. You know, I pull with the best of the best night in and night out. And that's that's just kind of how it works. Cootsie, over the years, if you could, if I said to you or Natalie, give me your top five wins, what would they be? There's got to be a farm machinery show in there somewhere. Well, yeah. I mean, it's everybody needs to go to Louisville once. I mean, at least, I mean, for me, the Louis, best part of Louisville is getting pulled down that ramp, you know, coming mm -hmm. Totally agree. Kind of a surreal feeling. It's beyond. Yep. Right. I mean, it, it's cool. Um, Henry, Illinois is cool. I've been, you know, I've done really well there. Um, 
like I say, local stuff. I mean, Freeport's a good one, you know, um, Hillsboro, you know, me, Thomas, fun too, you know. I mean, it's it's busy, you know. Cootsie, have you had one track? Because we all know that there's just certain tracks that just like your tires or your tractor or your driving style. Is there any one track trip and trip you go second, but Cootsie, that you feel like when you roll into X, I know that I got a really good shot of winning tonight. Do you have, are there any tracks like that for you, Cootsie? I mean, I've done really well at Hillsboro. I mean, it's Hillsboro and Freeport. I've done really well. You know, I like a good, it seems like I can do better on a good biking track. You know? Yep. Yep. Trip early. I mean, I know it's only a couple years into your career, but are there certain tracks that you favor at this point? Um, I don't know. It, we've they made a lot of changes on the track. So, it, but I, I would say, you know, like Darlington and, Probably Barocco, we've done both years that we've pulled at Barocco so far. We've done pretty well up there. Yep. That's um, a good biting track, too. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know. That new track in Edgerton, that, um, that they actually have done a really nice job over there, too. So That will be a good track. Yeah, every comment I read about that on Facebook is that they need, they need to add more bleachers. So that's always a good sign. Yeah. You read comments like that, trip. So... So, yep. so at, you know, guys, too, we talked yesterday about if you could drive one tractor trip in the country, past past or present, which would it, what would it be or where, whose would it be? Yeah, so basically a trip, any class, and I don't care, past or present, and you don't have to pay for it if you break it. I mean, what are we driving? Are we driving a mod, a big, uh, a big pro good. stock? What are we driving? Anybody that's willing to let me sit on their pro stock, I'll drive. Yep. <laughs> So your mentor, uh, John Link, is a mentor of John Coots. I would say keep John as your second cousin, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> so I asked Coochie. Coochie's already driven a pro stock. You can pick another tractor, but not a pro stock, John. Oh, you were- oh, you're putting me on the spot, Greg. I am. My job. <laughs> I kind of was fortunate enough to drive a couple, two pro stocks this year, and that's kind of like a dream come true. Hey, yeah. Coochie, how did you finish on the pros? You did pretty well, if I remember correctly, right? Uh, yeah. I got second both times. Where at? Uh, Jefferson County Fair with uh, Lynx. Uh, bootlegger was first hook. Yeah, that's that's okay to get beat by that tractor. <laughs> yeah, like well, I was second place and John bumped me out of it. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, Kutsi. I don't even like Kelsey. <laughs> and then, uh, say, Craig and uh, Robbie Lemke, Craig Wildman Craig, and Robbie Lemke let me drive the Kloss out there in Canton, Ohio. At a Grand National hook, and it was it was pretty cool. Who got you out there? Was it Schmucker? Uh Julia. Yeah, that happens every now and then. If you're going to get beat by one girl, Cootsie, that's the one to get beat by. So exactly, <laughs> Mike uh, Mike Connie's daughter. She's got it put together. Yep. Right. right. You know. So who's that guy to the left of you right now, there, Cootsie? That's my son, Wesley. So. Yeah, I've seen him on dirt bikes before. Wesley, how old are you now, buddy? Eight. Yeah. So how many years till you get to drive your dad's pulling tractor? I don't know. Do the math. 16 minus 8 is what? 8. Yeah, that a boy. So. Are you sure? <laughs> well, no, 2030 was when we'll legally see a little oh. Wesley Cooch drive, but I know how I've talked, I've interviewed many pullers over the years, and he was 16 when he was X and that was at you know Broadhead or something like that, some good brush pull, but that's just how it goes. That's how it goes. Colin Burkholt says Cootsie needs a light pro to drive. You know what I'm telling you right now, Burkholtz, Cootsie could drive about anything. Trip, I love you, but I don't have the same respect level yet. So <laughs> it's all good. got a first my tractor, right? Yeah, it's all good. Holy cow, Jason Kleppy's on Facebook. He says, Hey Wesley. Right? Wesley is Cleppy's or Wesley's buddy, so. Yep. Well, not Mason's buddy anymore, is he? What's that? He's not Mason's buddy anymore. He oh. he's oh. off to oh. Mason and he it's- ended up in a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> is that what happened, Wesley? <laughs> hey, Tripp, uh, Jamie Stevenson says, do you still have that rock in your trailer? The rock? The Rock. So this would be that's Bill Smith's wife, right? No, Jamie Stevenson. Jamie no. Stevenson, the Edgerton Fair, fair 
guy that puts okay. the ball. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's in there anymore. Uh, is is it a is it a story we could tell on Facebook or not? I it was just the first. So when they the first year they had um, when they built that track, they had a test. <laughs> And uh, well, that was the first year we had the tractor together. So we went over there and we made a couple passes. We, uh, we found a big rock at the end of the track when we, when we dug down. But it, they had just built the track. It was all brand new. And uh, yeah, they, we found it with our Trip, show me with your hands how big this rock was. I, it was it was pretty big. Okay. Uh, left a mark. So. <laughs> left a mark. Left yep. a mark. I understand that very well. I just looked at my tires after PRI and I found a couple of rocks on my last couple of passes too. So it's all good, but they but weren't that big. They in the 43 big. years I've been pulling, I've, I've seen something happen to Tripp's tractor in Beaver Dam that I've never seen happen before. Tripp, tell the story. We got a couple of minutes Tripp, left. I wasn't even there. It's not my story to tell. It held the whole show up. <laughs> he was cooking mint that day. Yeah, I wasn't. He wasn't even there, but. Well, who was driving the tractor then? Paul had it. Oh, Paul had it. Yep. But uh, tell yeah. the story, Trip. Tell the story. Um, they were built on the scale and the uh, the bracket for the brake caliper um, broke, and uh, so the caliper came around inside the rim and put a hole through the, the inside of the rim right on the scale. So it it uh, it had the tire went flat immediately and. It had uh, nobody else could go across the scale, and it, it held the whole show up. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to wreck a guy's tractor taking it off there, but I've never seen a cut in a rim like that ever. I mean, it was closing in the rim, poked the hole through. Yep. So. Yeah, we were we were actually at the time we were second or third in point. And yep. That was up in Beaver Dam, so we we go up point that night. We we weren't able to get it the very next night. We had to be in Lancaster. We weren't able to get it fixed in time, and so it kind of knocked us out of the point for the year. Yep. And that, and that, you know, that's basically the same thing happened to Mike Jelly. He was kind of leading the points then, too, and he broke his crank right too, I think, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, I think Plymouth or something, I think he broke the crank. Yep. He was running good. Yep. Yeah, he came. Yep. So we have a few minutes left, and Elsane, you're going to go last. Oh, hold on. Sean Sauer says, Cootsie has a good thing going with this little guy. Cool picks have been helping in the field. Coots, any plans ever moving up the class or drawing a line at 4 1? Cootsie, are you going pro? Better talk to my wife. <laughs> As yes. I, know, I know that question. It's, yeah. <laughs> John Coots will be a pro stock. Yes, yes, ma'am. Because I talked to Natalie. She said she wants her husband on a big pro. She's got a big fancy front door on her house. That's another story, but it's a good story. And, <laughs> good to get it, so it's all good. So, yeah. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up, but I really want to know because we have a lot of Badger State tractor pulling fans following us, and I'm gonna go trip Cootsie Elsing. Trip, what does it mean to be part of Badger State? On because you follow, and we're all fans of the sport of truck and tractor pulling. We all do. We all follow it all the time. And yes, Badger State is a state level organization, but one of the highly you know, the most regarded at the highest level of state organizations. Trip, what does it mean to you as a puller to be part of that with your tractor? Uh, like, I guess for me, it was a, a dream come true. I guess we, I mean, ever since I was a little kid, like, hey, we're going to see the Badger State tractor pullers. If you heard that the tractor pulls going on, and, you know, if it was the Badger State, you know, it was, that was something to go see, you know, and, and uh, it still is. And to be, to be a part of that it's you know it's it's pretty cool I, and greg hats off to greg and everybody that that makes it happen i mean it they put on a very you know it's organized it's well put together um you know when it if, this, if it's on the schedule that pull starts at seven there's a tractor on the track going down the track at seven you know it's and you know when when we took our old tractor apart and we decided we were gonna you know call it quits for a while it, we, Paul, Josh, and I all said that, you know, we're not going back tractor pulling until we can, the tractor's not going back together unless it's going to Badger State. You know, that was a goal of ours, and, and here we are. 
No, and that's well said, Trip. I mean, you get it. You don't have to start off in the pro stock class, right? You start making work your way up. Cootsie, you've been around for a long time, buddy. So what year was your first year ever as a member of Badger State? Do you remember the exact year and where you pulled? In 2000. We're at. What's that? We're at. First hook. I think um, I think the first hook would have been like Edgerton, I think. Okay. Really? I think so. Because mine was 2013 Leaf River. That was my first Badger State hook. Yeah. So, yeah. I it's believe so. so. I mean, for what it means for me is, I mean, you know, we know going to Badger State, it's going to be a well-run pole. I mean, every mean we got a good group of leaders, but yet us as pullers show up there knowing we got to be organized. We got to have our stuff ready. You know, we got to be prompt, you know. And when you go other places, you know, you, you just don't see that quite as much, you know. Right. The other thing is, you know, our level of competition, being in Badger State, we can go anywhere and you can, you know, go to any other polls and show up knowing that, you know, you've got a chance, you know. I'm not saying you're going to get top five or whatever, you know, but you're going to, you're as good as them usually. Yep. There's nothing to be scared of, Kuchi. No. There's nothing to be scared of. Right. right. Yep. You're not bringing a knife to a gunfight, if you know what I mean. So, Elsie, and I don't like to give you a lot of compliments because I think you're a cocksucker, but that's what I'm saying. His <laughs> made an amazing job. Basketball Monday night. What's that? Basketball Monday night. What's that? That? Basketball Monday night. <laughs> Sunday night. Um, to no. be part of Badger State and to be around and seen it and announce it and be part of it, Greg. I mean, what you've done over the years, you and Dirk and and everybody, and I I, I give a lot of credit to you and Dirk. For those early years, I know there's a lot more people than that. But, Greg, what's it like now starting this, you know, this show on Monday nights and hearing a trip downing trip? Well, how old are you, 25? I don't even know, bud. 31. You, okay. I gave him a lot of credit. I know Coochie's like 50 now because he's got like Wesley. <laughs> right. and Natalie's like 22, so he did well. Um, <laughs> but, Greg, in all seriousness, what's it like hearing this? You know, I mean, I get a little emotional with it because I've grown up with the Badger State tractor pullers. You guys are – you know, I mean, you guys gave me my start as an announcer because I got to tell the story. Bill Smith. So John and Stacy were announcing Freeport Cootsie, and this is the best story ever. And Bill Smith called me on the phone and goes, hey, I heard you're an announcer. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty good. He's like, well, here's the deal. I'm going to give you one chance. And if you screw it up, you'll never announce a Badger State pull ever again. <laughs> and that's literally how I got my start with the Badger State tractor pullers. And Bill Smith, I was, and Bill Smith's scary. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep. So he's shorter than me, but he's solid, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we, we always say don't go Bill Smith on him. Yeah, don't go Bill Smith on him. So it's all good. But Greg, Greg, what you have built with your family and your team, I mean, this has to be kind of humbling if you think about it. I mean, you guys are, and I've heard it all through all this Lucas Oil stuff and everything like that. The Badger State tractor pullers are in my you guys are the one of the most recognized state organizations in the country. What's that like? To be part of that, it's pretty humbling, uh, you know, to hear it from Trip. I, it means more coming from these guys that pull with you every day uh, than other people. If you know what I mean, I do. I, I do. It means the guys are with you every day and see see what you're doing. It means a lot, you know. You know, and what what I love anymore is seeing like Wesley there, and I yep. can imagine he's still around in eight years seeing him pull. You know, just like the Meyer boys, the Brinkmeyer kids. Uh, all these second and third generation guys that are out there pulling and they, and they, they weren't around when it was bad, you know, in the beginning, but they re still respect it for what it is. And they know, you know, what we're doing here, but they're, you know, hopefully their parents told them I wasn't that bad at the beginning, it was very unorganized years ago. It was, it was terrible. Uh, and <laughs> Stacy Butson and Kelly, you know, pushed a lot of timing getting on at seven. And we always did, you know, you, you hate going to a pole that starts at seven. You, nobody's going down the track at quarter to eight yet. Nobody wants that. That's not good. Right. I want people to know if they come to, if Badger State's on the schedule at your fair tonight, it starts at seven. You better be there at seven or you're going to miss something. Right. You know, and uh, that it's just doing the right thing, you know, and part of it, I think, is being a competitor yet. So you see both sides. You know, I think that that does help some. You know, because I don't want to pull on a crappy track. You know, no more better, and I don't want to pull on a crappy sled, no matter you know either. either. You know, but uh, 
sometimes you don't have a choice. You know, that's the one thing you got to realize is, that, you know, everybody says, go do this sled. There, Dude, there ain't many sleds left in the state that we have. And we've got the best in the state hooking with us right now, I feel. You know, and uh, but getting back to your question, uh, just it's humbling to hear all this from these guys. And it, mean, and it means a lot more than they will ever know when people say that. You know, I know I don't show a lot, but it, it I think about it a lot. And it, it means a lot. It keeps you going. No, it so, does. <clears throat> Nice. Until you until you've been on the board, and I'll never be on the board ever again. I won't. I refuse. You can't pay me enough money. Well, you could pay me enough money, but no pulling organization could pay me enough money. Cootsie, as Cootsie takes a drink. But all I'm saying is what Greg does, and anybody who's a president or on a board of any pulling association, I mean, it's tough. And, and nobody ever gives you any credit. But I have watched and I've been around since 2009, 2008. You know, and to, to be part of the Badger State, and I have nothing to do with any of the success, other than I help on social media. <laughs> oh, you did more. You did more. You do a lot, Jason. You well, do. I don't want any, <clears throat> but getting to know to call John Coots my friend, and to watch Trip grow up. And John, we're friends, right? Shake your head, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're friends. Yep. So and that means a lot to me. Um, to call these guys and to respect the, the fellow pullers I have in my class, that means a lot to me. So, Greg, you have busted your ass. You, your family. For, for many, many years, for basically nothing, you know, to be part of this, but to grow this into something special and to have a trip downing, come along, be in college and park his tractor because, hey, I can't afford this. And I've been there. I've been there. I, I totally understand trip. And then to come out and say, I want to be part of Badger State. You know, I know there's many, many people watching this show that want to be part of an association like this. And that's what makes it special. But that's why we don't need all these new classes all the time. Just move up, guys. Just move up. move up. We don't need another. We don't need another light, limited, super four, farm pro class. Just move up. It, it waters it down. Yeah, when you, you've seen it. You add too much classes, it waters it down. <clears throat> yep. It does. You took some out of one class that was strong, and you took tractors out of that to come. So you, you had a class with twelve tractors in it, and four of them move over to this other class. You might have three new ones, so you have two classes of seven. Then. Yeah. Make, makes it's not good. Uh, you know, at some point you do have to add a class, but you better have iron there for it. Yeah. Or, or won't grow. Agreed. Cootsie, Trip, I gotta I gotta switch over to Let's Grow Pulling. Uh Trip, give me one last final word of advice for anything, anybody, what you're feeling right now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I thank Greg for and uh Badger State for being there to, being a part of it. All the guys that that we pull against are great. You know, everybody, you, you walk around the pits in Badger State and everybody's laughing, joking, people are getting each other's trailers. You know, it's it's more than this. It's special. Cootsie, give me give me 15 seconds of awesomeness. 15 seconds of awesomeness, right? <laughs> um, like I say, you know, for all these guys that want to call me, you don't have to start at the top, you know. I mean, we, we do have these lower budget classes. If they get the same attention in Badger State as the big classes, you know. Correct. So don't be afraid to be wet. Jump in. Yep. And if you need help, ask somebody. Everybody will help them. Yep. Bingo. Yep. John and Tripp, it means a lot that you came on and spent an hour with us, sharing your story, sharing your journey, sharing your growth. Because you you know, you guys you guys are at different phases in your pulling career. Not that Cootsie's old. But Cootsie's been around a long time. He's a veteran trip, and you're lucky to have him in your life. And Greg, I mean, Greg and I give each other a lot of crap, but I have a lot of respect for Greg Elsie. Yep. You know, I have, he's done for Badger State, so it's I, all good. I have a little bit for you, too. Yeah, don't – no. You're just doing it because we're on Facebook. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching tonight. I'm going to switch over to my another show. I got Steve Burge and uh, Butch Sheba coming on, uh, lock and load diesel super stock pullers. So thanks for watching tonight. Have a great night. All right. Thanks. 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 See you next week. Peace.